guys seemed in sync. We went through a, you know, a, a pass under pressure series where it's third down and long. I thought uh, the offensive line did a very capable job protecting. Car Carl Granderson might have had a sack or two in there, but you know, our ability to uh, stay in rhythm and picking up some uh, some uh, blitzes uh, and uh, Josh taking the ball where it needed to be uh, placed was really good. Um, you know, uh, we're still working through a couple guys. Tanner Gentry wasn't back out there. Andrew Winger, they're kind of still nursing some soft tissue issues. Hopefully we'll have them back here, you know, at the start of next week. And, um, you know, outside of that, I thought we made some progress today. Offense probably got a little bit better day than what our defense, and that's kind of the ebb and flows of how practice usually goes. So, questions? I know you guys had quite the injury bug last year. Are mm -hmm. there things you can do proactively to mm -hmm. sort of try to avoid that this season? Well, there's certain things that you you can do. Certainly, you know, we're trying to monitor our rest. Uh, nutrition comes into play. Our strength and conditioning, uh, you know, in the off season, really helps prevent a lot of injuries. But there's going to be certain things that come with the price of playing football. And so, you know, we're fairly healthy right now. We had a I thought a pretty robust day of practice. And we're going to limit the amount of contact. I think the other thing we're doing is really, uh, you know, going through a new uh, tackling. Um, um, style, uh, you know, a lot of the stuff with the Seahawks, trying to keep your head out of it. However, there's still going to be some concussions, but at this time last year, I think we already had a couple and we haven't had any, so making some progress here. Craig, in, in your first year when you guys got here, you know, Mark mm -hmm. Azachi really thrived in this system mm -hmm. and, and everything before before he got hurt. And when mm -hmm. you look at Eric now, he's, he's a senior. Mm -hmm. Not saying he's the same skills, but he's a good-looking athlete. Do you yeah. think? How, do you see in the progress with him, and how big could that be if he could really take that next step? Right. And well, it's helped. You know, Mark, Eric's done some good things. He's a conscientious guy. I don't think he's where Mark was at, quite frankly. Uh -huh. um, but we're pleased with his progress. You know, he was a guy that we're trying to find a spot for him. He's a tall, lean guy that could run real well. And uh, you know, in the Tampa too, your middle guys really got to be able to run. Um, he can certainly do that. And I think each year he's become a little bit more accustomed to playing on defense and tackling. Uh, to say he's a finished product right now, no, but he certainly is better than what he was last year. And uh, he's playing behind Lucas. And last year, going into this time, he was our starter. And uh, and I think he's better. So that gives you a little indication where we're at as a defense. Um, I know you guys kind of have a tricky schedule this year with mm -hmm. Mountain West, especially mm -hmm. some tough home games. I guess overall, what do you sort of make of your, your slate this season? Well, you know, it's a, it's a competitive schedule. Uh, as coaches, we're in a mode, we take one game at a time. But when the schedule first comes out, you kind of take a gander and look at it. Uh, I do know that teams uh, uh, in the Mountain West, particularly the Mountain side, uh, we know those guys really well because we play them every year. They're well coached and they got good players. And I think our non-conference schedule is uh, very competitive as well. But we've always believed this. Competition brings out the best in you. And uh, our, our players certainly have a, a different look in their eye. And so uh, we're going to get ready to play. I know it's uh, 22 days till we play our first game. I know you'll go twice for the first time tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So yep. first one be shorter. How, how, how do you kind of how, how kind of kind of flip that, that around, uh, Robert? Uh, typically, when we do a two day, we'll do a heavy practice in the morning and a lighter one in the evening. Uh, or in the afternoon, and uh, you know, with some things that we've learned from concussions, and the majority of concussions occur during fall camp. We're going to flip it around and do some lighter work in the morning, and then go heavier uh, in the afternoon. And the reason for that is just to give guys a little bit more time to have without the the banging, pounding like when you and I played. It's amazing. I mean, I had a suspension helmet. Maybe that's why I don't call such good play sometimes. <laughs> but uh, you know, we're trying to trying to stay ahead of the curve and learn a little bit. And uh, so that's what we'll do tomorrow. Coach, 